Hello there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Vol Report Reminder. This is for education purposes only. Options carry risk. Consult a financial professional if you have questions. Consult the OIC's options risk, blah, blah, blah. All right, hey, go to OptionPit.com slash week. You can sign up for our next Saturday class. We're doing weekly and daily option strategies. This Saturday, three and a half hours plus of education. This is free for OptionPit Live members. Um, but if you are just want the one off, you can sign up. Go to OptionPit.com slash week. Price is two ninety seven. dollars Use code 100 off, OFF, and it'll take a uh, hundred bucks off the price. So um, really worth the time and uh, should be a great, great class. So get yourself over there. So Speaking of get yourself over there, this morning started out really ugly and has now moved strongly positive. The market has been bought. Volatility is coming off. Um, not nearly what it was yesterday, but this is a, a really strong reversal from the open. Apple's up. Amazon was down 60. It's now down looking at going to unched. Uh, it appears buy programs have stepped in. Look at the major ETFs and indexes. Um, Dow up 0.7%, NASDAQ up the softest, S&P up 0.87, IWM, the Russell 2000, is actually the strongest. It's up 1.2%. Now, remember, when the IWM has been the leader, the markets have continued to have tended to stick. We'll see whether that trend continues, but we are seeing a drop in volatility, a small drop in VIX. You look at it, the major ETFs, they're all up, the softest of which is uh, utilities, but the, even the utilities and pharma is up. So maybe that tells you that, hey, interest rates might, might, might not be moving the way you think. Um, the industrials all look strong. So yesterday was a weird day. Uh, we went from up 40 to down 40 to down 17, vol moving around to basically flat. And then here we are, we're now up again. Uh, obviously, the NASDAQ's got a lot to make up. I'm talking about the S&P. Uh, so we continue to be, If let me pull up the S&P here. We continue to be in kind of what appears to be kind of a bottom forming type of pattern where, yeah, you know, it looks ugly, but we're not, you know, we're hitting some new lows, not holding them. Um and the volatility really isn't rallying anymore. It's just kind of staying stable right at the peak that we saw. VIX is showing that as well. So, you know, today is flagging as potentially a, a bull week. Now, there's still a lot on the cards. We've gotten a lot of earnings out. We still have Apple and Facebook coming up, right? Facebook has earnings, uh, I believe, today. Uh, which could absolutely affect things. Uh, stock's been beaten so hard. I'm not sure how bad they're. Th I'm not sure that their earnings could be bad uh, with how how awful the the, the stock chart is. Um, Apple has their product announcement in about three minutes. I think that's going to make a big difference. And so those are going to be some things we're going to look at today. We might play around with oil. Um, we're going to look at some S&P and some Nasdaq ideas since those are now running hot. Uh, maybe we looked at an IWM idea yesterday, and um, you know that was a, uh, a really interesting trade that we put on, and actually probably part of it, the part that is in the money, is probably a close here. So, um, you know, there you have it, folks. That's the way the day looks, and I think it could be a really, really fascinating day with uh, how everything's lining up. Uh, you got questions, you can email me, mark at optionpit.com, or you can call me, 888-TRADE-01. All right, everybody, have a great day.